is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you for attending week number three of September. That's right, we're on week three. It's gonna be awesome, guys. Every week we get, we're closer and closer to Halloween. I'm kind of excited about that. With Halloween, guys, I wanted to invite you. We're having our fall family frenzy and our Halloween event, guys. And I would love for you guys to come hang out with us on one of those. So check out our website, SoHillCC.com. And go figure out where those events are. Go look at those and see if you can come. Because I would love to see some of you guys there. I'll be there. So I hope you're there as well. With that, today we're jumping into today's lesson. And I hope you remember what we've been talking about. We've been talking about the very first sentence ever. Creation. Creation itself. And we're wrapping up this little section of the Bible and creation today. And talking about our main memory verse. And I'm super excited about that. But before then, we've always got games. Because fun is part of of God's plan. That's right, even fun is part of God's plan. And today we're going to have some fun by describing some things. That's right, all of you guys who are in school, you might know this fun word, an adjective. What's an adjective, you may ask? An adjective is just a word that describes something. So, this shirt is white. That's an adjective. It's also very soft. That's an adjective. Anything that describes another word. So, you're going to have a challenge, and I need you to challenge your siblings, your parents, or your dog. It doesn't matter who, but go get them, and we're going to do a challenge. I'm going to give you some words, and you have to come up with an adjective that describes that word. So, say uh, I say pizza. Then you have to figure out something that describes pizza. You can say good, or um, cheesy, or hot, or delicious, or anything like that that. Now, here's the catch. Only the first person that says an adjective wins, okay? So we're going to see who can get the most points, okay? The most points today. So we're going to see who can do that, okay? If you need to go get your family, go get your family, pause the video, and come back, and let's get started. So first word that you guys have to describe is tree. What's the first descriptive word when you think tree? Got it? Mine was barky. I don't know if that's a word, guys. Barky. Leafy, maybe? Who knows? Let's just say I probably wouldn't have won that one. Let's do another one. How about, hmm, cars? Anything? Anything? My first one was fast. Cars are fast. Even if they're not fast cars, they're a lot faster than us humans. That was my first one. All right, let me think of another one. Hmm, I got it, guys. Macaroni and cheese. Thoughts? Mmm, cheesy. This is the first one. Delicious, cheesy goodness. Guys, if you don't know, mac and cheese is my favorite food. So if you ever want to make me happy, just make me mac and cheese. All right, let's do two more. Let's see. Let's see. How about church? Ooh, church. That's a, that's a hard one. What would you describe church as? Mm, I did fun. That was the first one that jumped into my head because I'm having fun with you guys right now. Yeah? Yeah? All right, all right. Let's do one more, one more. How about God? What is the first thing that you would describe God as? Got an answer? Mine was love. Love is the first thing that I would describe God as. And guys, that's what we're diving into today, is what we would describe God as, how we would describe God, and how creation describes God. So we've got a Bible story. We're going to check out that Bible story, and then we're going to jump in and talk about it. So I'll see you guys after that. King David loved God. He wrote a psalm or song to celebrate how great God is. This is what he wrote. The heavens show us the glory of God, how great he is. When we look up into the sky, we can see what God created. Every day and every night, what we see in the heavens continues to tell us about God. The heavens we see don't tell us about God with words, but the message that they show us about God is seen by all the people of the world. We can see God's glory in the movement of the sun. It is like an athlete running a course. It rises in the same place every day and then sets at the end of the day in another place. Everyone and everything can feel its heat. David continued, the Lord's instruction is perfect. It renews life. What God says is trustworthy. The Lord's instructions make our hearts glad and help us see clearly. When people respond in awe and love of God, it is pure 
and it lasts forever. Instructions from the Lord are reliable and righteous. They are more desirable than pure gold, and they are sweeter than fresh honey. In addition, God's instructions warn his servants. When they are kept, there is great reward. No one can keep track of all his sins. Sometimes we don't even realize we are sinning when we disobey God. God, clean up our hidden flaws. Keep your servant from choosing to sin too, and don't let sin be in control. Then I will be blameless and cleansed from my rebellion against you. I want everything I think or say to be acceptable to you, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. All of creation displays the glory of God, how great he is, although not perfectly. You see, the perfect revelation of God's glory is found in Jesus, who came to show us exactly what God is like. Because Jesus is God, he is the perfect display of God's glory. All right, guys, I hope you have your Bibles because the Bible is an important part of our relationship with God. Now, I hope you guys know the memory verse. If you don't, it's Psalms 19.1, right? Creation reveals the glory of God. The expanse declares his goodness, right? So, in this story, do you all remember some of the things that David used to describe them, right? Um, he said, heavens declare the glory of God, the skies display his craftsmanship. Day after night, they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, right? The skies declare his workmanship. The heavens, you know, the sun, the moon, the stars, all of those display the goodness of God. How cool is that? That even the stars, even God's creation declares his goodness. Now, it doesn't declare it in, in words like we do, but in what it does, right? Even the shining of the star shows us who God is. And why? Well, because God created it. And we get to see it. We get to feel the benefits of the warm sun. We get to see the tide as the moon pushes and pulls the ocean in and out. We get to see the dazzling night sky with millions of stars strewn across it, guys. How amazing is that? That God's creation declares his goodness, and that we, as his creation, also get to experience it, you know? It's truly a blessing, everything God gives, and everything God gives is a gift, right? The best mac and cheese in the world wouldn't exist if God hadn't made cheese, which wouldn't exist if God hadn't made cows, and it wouldn't exist if God hadn't made animals at all, right? All of the things that we enjoy, from houses to cars, all of these things are a blessing and overflowing from God. Even your phones, right? Your tablets, online, YouTube, the internet, they're all blessings. Now, granted, we as humans have made them imperfect. We've fallen because of sin, and we need something to help us fix it. We need something to save us, and that's where Jesus comes in. And Jesus saves us. Let's look at Psalms 19.7. Just a few verses down. Big 19, little 7. And it says, The instructions of the Lord are perfect. Reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy. Making wise the simple. So guys, we see that, that what God tells us to do. What God asks us to do is there to help us. From creation to the laws to the expectations for us, all of these things are made for our good, right? Because we bring glory to God, and God does things for our good. All of creation is structured around bringing glory to God, and God giving good to us, even though we don't deserve it. Like I said, we're sinners. We have fallen. Raise your hand if you've ever messed up, disobeyed a parent, or whatever. We've all done something that we're not proud of, but God still forgives. And because Jesus sent his son, Jesus is going to renew and restore the land that we're in. He's going to give us good gifts, and he loves us very 
well. When we accept Jesus as our Savior, when we take a step and proclaim Him as our Lord and Father, then He is good to save. And isn't that good news? Now next week we're going to hear some bad news. We're going to learn about the fall. We're going to learn about the mistakes Adam and Eve made. And we're going to learn about how that applies to us. And then we're going to see how Jesus is still going to save us through all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. I enjoyed today. God's creation is good. And he gives us good things, even if we don't deserve it. So don't forget that. With that, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next week. I cannot wait. Bye.